Alright, good morning guys. It's a nice Saturday morning and I'm gonna do another bike run bike adventure. Except this time, I'm gonna bike a little bit farther, probably 30 miles today, and then run maybe 17 miles with 3,000 feet of elevation gain. Okay, so a couple things I'm doing differently this time. One, I've got my cycling shoes on because it's biking with trail runners is not as fun. Second, got the long straws on. And uh, third, I've got the GoPro in the pocket. Gonna be an adventure day. What's up, Carl? Adventure day. Adventure day. Dude, it feels like an adventure because I didn't get very much sleep either. <laughs> I was excited. <laughs> and there goes Carl, right there. When the bridge is all fogged up like this, it's really neat. Happens a lot, actually, for those who are not local. In the tunnel, no cars. Look at those trail runners. I mean, possible. I go to the grocery store less. It is 9 a.m. here on Saturday. I'm here with my friend Carl who you guys might remember from the Clouds Rest trip. We just biked 15 miles and it's gonna be great. But by the beach, you got this amazing view with the fog. It's game time. <laughs> I'm clearly really bad at this whole YouTube business. Coastal Trail. I gotta get the current record on this labyrinth here. I gotta get the KOL. Oh man, he has a ways to go. <laughs> I'm gonna start panning. I'm out. Oh, he's out. All right. Look at that beauty. This feels pretty backcountry to me. Looking around, and there's nobody. And we are just meandering. We don't even know where the heck we are. Well, this running kind of became more of like a slog or a hike, because we are totally off the trail. Smells really minty here. Super nice. Tennessee Valley. <laughs> so the guy on the left is courting the two on the right. Showing his big feathers off.
My heart rate's been just below my lactate threshold this entire time. So we'll see if my muscles give out or if my feet start hurting too much. Ooh, beautiful day for a run though. What an adventure. Okay, we're 12 and a half miles in and 2,700 feet of elevation gain. And this is when it becomes type two fun and the pain starts. We are on the Alta Trail. We gotta go up a bit more and then run all the way down to Rodeo Beach, which is like at least five miles, I think. All right, we're 13 miles in, at least four miles away from our bikes, if not more. And then... <laughs> I wanted to make sure what you said about when you when you make a wrong, when you make a plan, you either do your plan or you end up going longer. Exactly. There was a moment where we thought we might have actually ended up going shorter. So we made sure to make a different turn. So now it's definitely not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was kind of bummed we missed a turn and was going to cut the run short. And of course we overcompensated. Wow, look how beautiful this is. Oh, look at all these flowers. It's definitely spring here. Where's the end of the run? It looks like a runner. Oh, it looks look like, like a hero, hero or a legend. distance high five, nice, bam. So that was 17 and a half miles, 3,500 feet of elevation gain, and uh, that's how many feet we descended. Hamstring. All you're thinking about is finishing the run, and the next thing you're thinking about is finishing the bike ride. <laughs> Carl, no bike shorts. Cross or not cross? Not cross. Carl discovered his Chain ring bolts came undone. This is why you carry tools, kids. Did this just become an adventure, Carl? It's been an adventure. So nice to use different muscles for the bike. So, a successful bike ride, successful run, and I've made it home. So, I will see you guys in the next video.